Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you different file formats which are used in Gromax MD simulation software. And please remember the name of these file formats because you are going to need these formats in each and every step of MD simulation using Gromax. So let's start from the .pdb file format. So it's a actually a structure file containing the coordinates of the input molecules. The input molecule may be a protein, ligand, okay. And this is a basically a structure file. You already know about the protein data bank format. Okay, so let's see what actually it contains in PDB structure. So I have a folder containing few file formats and this is the PDB format of a protein molecule so you can open it through notepad okay notepad is a simple text format so when you open it you can see these are the data values which are present in the pdb file and because it's a protein this file contain information about the helix and sheet part of the protein molecule okay and these are the amino acid residues from number one to number 57 the stretch of amino acids are present in helix one so this about the helix and sheet information and in second part it contain information about the atoms of each amino acid residue that means all the atoms which are part of the protein molecule okay so the protein start with aspartate and the amino acid number is 8 because the first few amino acid 1 to 7 are absent missing so the protein start from the aspartate number 8 and this is the nitrogen atom number 1 atom this is a unique number for each atom and this is the nitrogen atom of aspartate residues of chain A and residues number is 8 and these are the 3d coordinates okay that means x y and z coordinates so let's see what is coordinate suppose this is a molecule so in three dimensional space each atom has three coordinates x y and z coordinate and in pdb file the coordinate of each atom are present that's how we can determine the three dimensional structure in 3d space of any molecule okay the next file format is dot gro it's a simple coordinate file but gromac uses dot gro as default structure file okay so when we use dot pdp as input structure so gromac convert it to dot gro because this dot gro format is more simpler than dot pdp and and speed of the MD simulation increases when the dot GRO format is used. So this is the dot GRO format of protein molecule, same protein molecule. I am opening it in notepad. Now you see it also contain the information about amino acid residues. First residues is, first residues is aspartate number 8 atom nitrogen unique identifier and the three dimensional coordinate x y z coordinate and dot gro format also contain the velocity information or velocity component of each atom in x y z dimension moreover if you scroll down at the end of that coordinate part you can see the x y z dimension of the simulation box and the dot gro stand for gromax gromax coordinate file the next format is dot top that means it's a topology file so it's very important to know about the topology file what is topology topology is the detailed information about the system 
it contain all the information about the input molecules and the system also like the system include water ions force field everything and description as per the requirement of the force field so this is microsoft office word okay and now i am going to describing a protein molecule the name of the protein molecule suppose lactate dehydrogenase so i am writing here lactate dehydrogenase is an enzyme involved in conversion of lactate to pyruvate this is the information which i have written about that protein molecule i am describing this protein molecule but it's present in calibri font okay so this i have chosen calibri font if i select other fonts like times new roman so this information will be written as per the requirement of times new roman in this format so force field is like this font format and the description is the topology this is the topology file i have opened it in notepad so you can see this topology has been generated using the charm 36 force field next the atoms and residues information like first residues is aspartate number 8 and these are the atom number 1 2 3 4 serial number okay and these are the atoms nitrogen hydrogen similar to the information which are present in dot gr or dot pdb <coughs> then next information is charge group number okay and then charge of the atom so this is the charge for nitrogen atom and mass of nitrogen atom if we scroll down the next information is about bond bond information then pair and dihedral so these are the bond angle dihedral among the different atoms and also the non bonded interaction like electrostatic and van der waal interaction the next format is dot itp so dot itp means include topology file okay so there is no difference between the topology and dot top and dot itp uh, itp file contains the same information which the topology file content actually topology is just like a, a book of so book contain information about any subject and itp files like chapter which uh, which contain information about any topic on that subject okay so topology is the information about the whole system but we can store topology of different part like topology of water molecule topology of protein topology of ligand topology of ion topology of the force field force field parameter so these information are divided into different itp file so the main topology file we can include this location of that itp file like i am going to show you in this topology file you can see include charm 36 force field dot itp that means separate topology for the force field or force field parameters are there in a itp file and here mention that we have to is instructing the gromac to read the topology of this force field next include ligand dot itp if you scroll down you can see here only topology of protein is present the all the atoms which are part of protein molecule only their topology is present but the ligand topology is not present so it has been mentioned here to include the topology of ligand that's why it's ligand dot itp and if you open the uh, itp file of ligand so the topology of that ligand are present there similarly for if you scroll down 
the topology for water molecule include water topology. So, topology of water molecule are present in different IPG file and it is mentioned here to include the T3P, T3P water model. So, topology of the water model. Similarly, topology for positional distance, topology for ions. So, we keep the information separately, chapter wise, okay, so that this information do not jumble to make it faster, to make the run very smooth. We divide the information in different IPV files. The next format is index file with extension .ndx. Index for index file. So, what is index? In index file, each atom is assigned an unique number so that Gromax software can keep track of each atom which are part of the system. So, a single atom can be a part of any ligand molecule or protein molecule or within protein, it may be a carbon or C alpha carbon or hydrogen side chain hydrogen it may be hydrogen of water molecule so if unique number is assigned to all the atoms if in total system 35000 atoms are there so number start from 1 to 35000 and you can see in total system the numbering start from 1 2 3 serial number is present because system contain all the atoms Total system content. I am scrolling down. Thirty-four thousand one hundred sixty-five atoms. And this is the protein part. And numbering start from one. That means number one atom is part of protein. Similarly, number two, three, four, five, six. Serially, these are the atoms of protein molecule and I am scrolling down and 7630 total number of atoms of which are part of protein molecule. But you see in protein A is that means hydrogen atom of protein only the hydrogen number 1 is hydrogen number 5 is hydrogen. Now you see non protein atom ok. So this atom is not part of protein. So, this atom may be a part of water molecule, any ion ligand, ok. These are the possibilities. You can also create new groups. Suppose if you want to create a new group like protein plus ion, that group can be created by joining the number of that atom. That means atom number from the protein and the ion numbers. New group can be created. So that's all about index file. Now the most important format dot mdp that means molecular dynamic parameter. Usually this pdp dot gro topology file we do not create this file manually or, or we cannot change or modify this file manually. It may create error but molecular dynamics parameter file we can change it. We can change the parameter of our simulation. Suppose if you want to run a simulation for a duration of 100 nanosecond or 50 nanosecond or 1 microsecond. So, we have to specify that. So, MDP file is the file where we can write that requirement or we can change different kind of algorithm like if you want to use the algorithm for thermostat or barostat or numerical integrator, periodic boundary condition output file capture frequency everything the requirement when we are performing md simulation everything can be specified in molecular dynamics parameter file so therefore a separate tutorial i will describe about the molecular dynamics parameter because it is the most important file next dot ttr file that means it's the run input file because you know when we are start running our MD simulation, the Gromax needs the coordinate file that means structure or coordinate file. 
the topology of the system and also parameter that means molecular dynamics parameter okay so when we are start our running instead of giving the mdp file or topology file or coordinate file separately as input we mark these three files to a single file that is dot ttr run input file the next format is dot log that means it's log file when our simulation is running or when we are preparing our input file modifying or box generating so the process whole process is recorded in the log file so we can check in this log file different kinds of error or what are the process which are running in background everything is written in log file is the record of the simulation dot edr file is energy file we get it as output and this file contain information about the temperature pressure during the simulation run dot trr file this is the trajectory file it is the main output file where the gromax trajectories are written but the size of the dot trr file is very large it contain huge amount of information about the whole simulation run whole trajectory therefore instead of generating dot trr file we compress this dot trr into dot xtt that's why it's known as extended trajectory file the next format is dot cpt file that means check point file so if you want to pause your simulation and then you want to restart your simulation then for a particular time step you have to record all the events of that particular time point so that you can restart from that point so cpt file is generated at particular interval or you can generate cpt file to uh, store the information of a particular time step then from that point you can restart your simulation okay so uh, these are the different kinds of uh, file formats which are used in gromax and better you remember this format because many formats are there and they will be required during mb simulation so you need to remember this format so that's all for this tutorial thank you thank you for watching